Good morning guys. Well, the job for today is getting that down these ramps and into this space right here. My friend Don. Don and I are going to attempt this. And I probably should put a warning on here. Don't try this at home. At your own peril. At your own peril. This is an Axelson 16 by 30 lathe with a very nice man in Louisiana allowed me to have if I could come get it, which I did. We had a forklift lifted onto my carrier I had built for my other 16 by 30 lathe to move it into this shop about six or seven years ago. Uh, that trailer had a, uh, a tilt bed on it, so we're going to improvise with this one. May or may not work. We're going to try to be as safe as possible. We've got an assortment of come-alongs and pipe rollers. There's a two-ton winch back there we're going to hook up to the front up here. We're going to tilt the trailer on its jack some. Put a uh, tractor on the front to keep it from going up any higher and hopefully roll it off this into that space right there. Once we, once we get it down and off the rollers down to here we can put it on these uh, machine dollies. So I hope we got enough stuff we're going to get to it. You think you should support the back of your trailer here? I have no idea, Don.
guys over there looking over there we're all over here you should join the join the action What we're doing right now is stabilizing the trailer. We're going to attach a V bridle to the trailer with a chain hoist so that we can lift the front end of the trailer to lessen the angle on the ramps and help us roll this off uh, in a controlled fashion. God, I hope so. <laughs> All right. Add another chain somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I just saw it. Uh, 
Before I get too many comments on YouTube, we're prepared. We've got the uh, machine skates sitting down here for when we can get it up on them. Uh, two racks we can slide side to side wherever we need it. Pipes underneath there. We've got metal chocks underneath the trailer to keep it from going down much further. It's almost touching there. Trailer is being held from going up by the tractor, and Don, the expert chain hoist operator over yeah. there, is you know, shaking in his boots. The expert, the definition of expert, X is something that was and spurt is a drip of water, okay? Okay. Get so you are an expert. <laughs> And we got the little chain hoist here and make it move a little bit, Don. Go use some gravity. guys up out of the way. Once again, don't try this at home. Okay, let me uh, see if I can get it sideways a little bit. Do with my hand. It's very rarely sat around here. Can I do with my hand? Put it that way. It should be right, right there. 
cannot hit it is another thing. That's another thing. Getting better? Crackens. Got a little wedge to put underneath that pipe there. Put it in place. And Don has let me run out of chain. I don't know why he did that. Why don't you here, Don? You you start uh, rolling it up. See now what you've done. If you're paying attention, you're thinking of wide ass jokes. Right there. I don't know if I got enough chain to tighten that up. Pull it backwards. There you go. You got a kink in your chain there. Get this tightened up will be not having to do it again. Okay, let me check her hooks. Hooks are good, hooks are good. 
high. I think we got it enough to get it all the way pretty much off. So. Got about 10 foot of chain there. Okay. All right, carry on, sir. Let's go another couple feet and check out and see how much we have. I can always put a uh, screw one of the things on this pipe up here. I need to do for the chain, but I have another chain. Tell you what, let's just go with this pipe here. Okay. All I've got. That's bigger. Go ahead. 
here at Clank, it's going to drop about three quarters of an inch. Okay. It's going to drop off this plywood about three quarters of an inch. Yep. So be ready for it. It's about another inch or two. Fortuitous. That worked well. Now hold on. Let's continue. Uh, why don't we let the, the turn of the trader down? See if that helps get some of the weight onto this, this bar. No? Go ahead and tighten that up. Feel like an Egyptian slave. All right, let's see what happens.
other side? side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we just throw another roll rest underneath it, or we put the, uh, yeah. the skates. See what happens there. Hold on one second. Okay. Clamp something right here to that. Would it? Get a little bit. Get a can you go loose without a hoop? Go to where you just go now.
can you block it there? All right. Get it up there, I think it'll transfer. Okay. Something's leaking. <coughs> Hands got a leak in it. It's on the flat now. It's not great to have it on four rollers, but it's what we have right this minute. It's coming to its new home for a while. We'll see. Okay. One last thing we need to do real quick is 
turn those rollers so it'll go that way. And you probably got to be careful about it because it's still up on three and uh, or four rollers. And who knows what can happen? Well, there she is. She's out of the weather again. She's got a... Oh, God, I wish I could just sandblast this thing. But that would damage more than fix. So, I got a needle scale it. First, we're going to get it hooked up and make sure everything's working okay. See what kind of problems it's got. Maybe I could show you on this camera. The other one ran out of juice. This is my big problem right there. All those leads are messed up. When they come out of that contactor. I have to figure out which one's which. Well, it's 480 or 28. So some of the you got three poles, so that's six wires, and then you got two three more tied together for. Yeah. So then you got the other option for 408. So. I just got to figure out if you can own that. Just own that. You can own it to find out which which Pair. ones are the pairs. Or you can take the take the cover off and. Uh, well, you got to get in here to. Yeah. There's a bolt right in here. Yeah, see it. Maybe I can take the bell out. You know, sitting in the rain, it didn't do these motors any good. So I got a feeling this one's going to have to come out. That plate comes off. You can reach the shaft under there. There's also a coupling right in here. But I'm going to have to buy me a, an engine lift. Got rid of the one. Look what they did here. Good God. That's just a plate. That can cut well, maybe not. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think that's a plate. I'm gonna remake that. This is the first broken broken thing I've seen. That plate right there is part of the mechanism that tightens down the bed clamp here. Those two bolts come down. It looks like they go into this yoke here, and then this looks like it's got a pin that goes through back up in there to those two little, probably bored with a pin through it, and it picks this whole thing up. Luckily, I can take and uh, put a plate underneath that and grind that out and weld it and then put the plate underneath there and I should be able to make that as strong as ever. There's enough clearance from here to there. So that's not a problem. I don't even know. I don't even know if there's any gold. Yeah, well, if it's sitting out in the rain, if we leave you out in the rain, you would be doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, these will twist off. And then we can put them in an ultrasonic cleaner. That pin, when this all works, these uh, pull out and release that pin. But we can fix that. What's this? That is another speed range. You unlock this one right here, and then move this down, then lock it back. I never use it on my other one, ever. I tried it once, had to buy some new underwear. I put a good size chuck on this thing, and you started spinning. This one will go to uh, 
1127 top speed that's the serial number on it anyway unfortunately I have to go to work at another job you see these idiots and I do call them idiots painted over the oil sight glasses well, here's one that shows you if the oil pump's working And down here's one for the uh, uh, apron oil. And it's got a 